We are not very optimistic when it comes to returns this year and, and the next few years, actually. And, um, you know, if we start with, uh, with rates internationally, I do not see them coming down as fast as many other people. I think we have some underlying inflationary pressures. We've got wages now, uh, you know, wage demand really high in a lot of countries. And so that could lead to some, you know, spiraling of oh, inflation going forward. So um, then you have some climate effects which are yeah. negative um, on pricing. You have geopolitics, you have trade routes, uh, just a lot of things. It's just not a very happy cocktail. But so if you look at the trade routes and the concern, of course, in some of the straits, which means that they have to go around, could mm. that actually impact negatively the world economy if this lasts for much longer or gets worse? Um, absolutely, because we are seeing uh, freight rates going up and we are seeing problems also with the Panama Canal. So um, some of these uh, trade routes are, you know, are being held back a bit. But so, and I know you're a long-term investment, uh, yeah. you know, investor, but how, how do you look at the next 12, 24 months? It's hard if you're losing money to stay the course when you see the world around you changing. Yes, but we are, uh, you know, a very large fund and you have to be extremely long-term in your thinking and you have to be really well diversified which is what we are. You know, we own uh, basically a, a small yeah. part of the whole world. Yeah. And uh, so we just have to be there for the long term. But do you not see the world changing? So we, we were talking about the cost of credit, the cost of money, the fact that this is changing also for structural reasons, that it's not only because of the wave of interest rates that we've seen. Yes, so uh, money is not free anymore. And I don't think it will be uh, for a long period of time. And so, of course, that has implications for, uh, you know, companies uh, which have got debt. We are seeing it in the real estate market uh, negatively. And so we are seeing it a lot of places. But probably we've seen the big, the big jump in, in cost of capital. So from here, it's probably going to, to, to normalize a bit going forward.